Somebody's really ready to go outside this morning. Let's go. Good morning. It's six o'clock. Maybe just a little hair after six o'clock this morning. This is how the lake looks this morning. The sky has a tiny bit of an orange glow. The sun is rising. I woke up at 5.50 and I was like, I'm not going to get up. It's the holiday. Gonna... So I woke up this morning. It was 5.50. And I thought to myself, it's a holiday. I'm not going to get up and go walking this morning. And then I noticed that it was getting light outside sun is rising and I thought well why not today's another day let's go ahead and go walking so here we are doc is with me as you can see I'm walking on the grass because this road the way they've got the they've got gravel on the road and it's just I don't want to walk on it so, anyway, uh, what do I want to tell you guys about this morning? I know if I walk with this dog on this gravel road, it's going to hurt his paws. That's why I'm, like, not inclined to walk on this gravel. Good morning, Ed. I know you're probably out here walking in the sunrise this morning. I'm definitely not walking that, you know, long. I'm walking like 15 to 20 minutes. So, and I'm going to turn up. The sunrise is over there, but I'm going to go this way because basically I don't want to walk on that gravel. Instead of them paving the road, they just like, lined it with new gravel it's a it's a i don't know what they call it, blacktop type of a road but instead of them paving it again they lined it with new gravel so anyway whatever <sighs> makes it inconvenient for walking for me how was yesterday yesterday was an omad day uh, in the morning, about 9 o'clock in the morning, I started getting hungry. So, I started thinking about food, obsessing. Okay, what time am I going to eat? Um, I wanted to fast for about 14 or 15 hours. And uh, so, I just waited. But yet, I was feeling very obsessive about it, which I don't like. So we'll see about the OMAD date. I, mean, I just don't know if I want to uh, be dealing with that. I'm not sure. I might take OMAD days out and just do regular intermittent fasting. Or maybe I will, instead of eating an OMAD at the middle of the day just eat it when I get hungry that's probably the best thing to do don't you think eat it in the middle of the day or whenever I get hungry I'm gonna try that next time so but the meal that I had was really good it had half a pound of ground beef with the uh, bacon crumbles and about 10 ounces of um, that Wagyu brisket that my stepdad made. It was very, very delicious. So, but the only thing is, the Wagyu brisket had some other kind of um, spice on it besides just salt. Uh, so, I'm not sure about those spices. So I'm going to tell you what, about, what I observed, and then we'll see if it holds true. 
So on Monday, I had an only Redmond's salt day. So all my meals just had Redmond salt on them. On Tuesday, which was my lean day, I had the Wagyu beef brisket, um, just about three ounces with um, this salt, the seasoning on it. He said it had a lot of pepper in it. So on Monday night, I slept. My CPAP registered that my um, episodes of sleep apnea were 0.0. .0. On Tuesday uh, night, after eating the meat with the pepper on it, my sleep apnea episodes were like 1.2. Last night, after I ate 10 ounces of Wagyu ribeye with the seasoning on it, my sleep, sleep apnea episodes were like 2.3. Okay, so I'm just curious. Uh, today I'm going back to just a plain salt day. Um, I'm actually gonna have some filet mignon and burger patties. <clears throat> and um, so after I eat, just a, those will just be seasoned with salt only. And uh, we'll see what the CPAP says. Um, so, I don't know. And plus I'm feeling this sort of um, feeling like impending doom while I'm sleeping. I don't know how else to describe it. Feels like if I don't do something, something really bad's gonna happen. Just a fleeting thing, um, but you know, it's weird. I might tell you guys some more about that if I can. So anyway, Let's check it out. Let's see what happens tonight. Cause I'm planning to have only salt. And uh, I finish as much of the brisket as I'm gonna eat. I'm gonna leave the last piece for my husband. And uh, I think I'm gonna be done with that pepper. I know that I have a little sensitivity to pepper. Leave the bunny alone, Doc. We have so many bunnies this year. So many, it's crazy. How many bunnies we have. So let's just check it out. See, I'll let you guys know tomorrow morning what happens after a day of only salt. So um continuing on with my own story of my OMAD day. I ate around eleven o'clock. Uh and so by the time it was getting close to time to bed for bed, I started getting hungry. So this morning I'm waking up feeling hungry. <laughs> uh, but that's okay. Uh, I guess that's the thing of the OMAD day is you eat one big meal and then you don't eat no more. So that's kind of my concern or my, my I'm not sure because if I eat my OMAD in the morning, like nine or 10 in the morning, would I be able to make it all the way through the end of the day without having another meal? We'll see. Not that I can't make it. I definitely can make it, but am I gonna be hungry is the question. So I hope you guys are enjoying these videos. I got a request from Sandra to add my arm workout in here. Um, I probably will do a separate video. Um, I'll add a little bit of the footage from the arm workout because it's 15 minutes, but I'll do a separate video that shows the whole thing. Leave it, Doc. Leave it.
And no, leave it alone. Oh, you guys have to see this. Doc, the whole face is wet. Hey, look, <laughs> look, sit. Hey, Doc, <laughs> sit. He, yeah, he knows how to sit. Hey, 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 calm down. The car just went by. Sit, Doc, sit. Good boy. I wanted you guys to see his face. He's been sniffing the grass while we're walking. This dude really wants to chase a car. My God. He really wants to chase one. Like, I think he's afraid of them in a way. He's, he's a pretty nervous little dude. It's funny how the dog has the same personality as you. Because my, my, I'm typically nervous, like a anxious person. Much, 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 much better on carnivore. But this dog is a nervous wreck. He's so funny. Either that or maybe he just thinks he's the boss of everything. That could be possible too. And that is also me. <laughs> oh my gosh. Anyway, I'm going to finish up this walk. And uh, I will go back home and make some decaf coffee. And then I got some work I got to do today before we get out. So I'm going to work on some of that. I'm glad I got up and came out and walked uh, in the morning sun. The only problem is I'll show you how this looks. Let me turn it around again. In every direction, this is what we have. It's just full of trees, so you can't really see the sunrise. Um, though, you, though you can see that the sun is rising. You can't really see the sunrise. I would have to walk a lot further in order to see the actual sun coming up. So there's a good good spot right there. That's probably the best view that we have inside the neighborhood. Yet and still, I'm hoping that this daily sunrise walk is helping with my um, sleep. Yeah, I hope it's helping with my sleep. Um, I noticed myself getting a little bit more deep sleep. One night I got zero REM sleep, which was like, okay, that's interesting. <laughs> uh, no REM sleep at all. Leave it, leave it, Doc. Leave it. Leave it. Yeah, I was saying that one night I got zero REM sleep. I thought that was weird. Um, I'm going to have to like do a little bit of study on the different types of sleep and how they impact your life because I wonder if you sleep like seven to eight hours a night and you get, you know, 20 minutes or 30 minutes of uh, deep sleep, how effective it is. I know that the deep sleep is the restorative sleep. So I'm going to do a little study on that and I will present a video about it because it definitely is concerning to me because I spend a lot of time being tired way more than I would expect. And as you know, a lot of people have said, like the carnivore diet usually generally causes people to have a lot, a lot of energy like they can't sit down i think i started out that way a little bit but nah not me i'm tired all the time still and i think it's because i get poor sleep so my friend was saying to me my best friend was saying to me that um are you sure this diet is working for you because you're still tired all the time. 
It is. It definitely is. But I think that bad sleep impacts the fact that I, you know, I'm still tired all the time. So, poor sleep. Interesting stuff, you know. I'll do a video about it. Good morning. I'm getting ready to have my decaf coffee. Here's my new cup that I got in Orlando. I really wish it said grandma, but this is good. Grandma's mug. So, um, I'm gonna go with the collagen peptides. Here's my Kino Brains Nootropic. I'm almost done with my 30 day, 30 days on this, and I'm getting ready to do my review of the Keto Brains Nootropic. And then my Lugol's iodine, this uh, response is for Sandra. She wanted to know if I see any kind of instructions on here that tells me to shake it up, and I do not. So this is the Lugol solution, 2% USP. It says 94% distilled water, potassium iodide 4% and iodine 2%. So let me know if you got the same thing. So I'm gonna do four drops. <clears throat> this also says directions are for talisman use only. Keep away from children. I don't know what talisman use is, but okay. I'm gonna add a little salt. I think uh, somebody, maybe Sandra or somebody in there mentioned to me about adding salt, which I did yesterday. And yes, of course that does take the bitterness out. This morning I'm having Pete's coffee. Let me show you. This is the brand that I'm using this morning. It's a medium roast decaf. Here's my coffee. I'm not sure how many ounces this cup holds. I'm gonna whip this up. Here's my frother. I keep filling my cup up too much. I should fill it part way and then froth and then fill it the rest of the way. There it is. One other thing that I wanted to mention is that I also take this uh, D3K2. I've been taking this for a long time. This is D3. Uh, however, um, I heard from um, Laura at Healthy Carnivore that you need to have K2. So I have these still, a whole bunch of them. So when I get done with these D3K2s, I'm going to go ahead and order some just K2 to go with those D3s so I can finish those up as well. Missing taking this could also be part of why I'm, I've been tired. So get ready to take this one also. For breakfast, I am having half pound of hamburger uh, and... So two and a half slices of bacon, I already ate half of one already. This is my breakfast. This is a regular eating day. So I didn't season my burger patties today. I wanted to just try it without salt. I'm gonna add some salt. Hi friends, oh, look, at my, look at my collar. I am at the lake house. There it is. Getting ready to walk down to the lake. I'll show you guys what it looks like. Hey, Grandma, are we allowed to park our, the, our car right over there? No, that's, a, that's some people's house. That's people's house right there. <laughs> you can't park your car there. Oh, well, I guess you can park your car there because my car is over there. Papa did it. 
So basically, if he did it, it must be allowed. It must be allowed to be done. Okay, let me show you guys. Here we go. All right. You can hear my little dogs in the background. My dog and my daughter's two dogs. Here's our lake. This is Eagle Lake, Papaw, Michigan. And um, so I kind of wanted to give you guys the rundown on how I'm feeling about things today. So that's why I turned my camera on. But I have these guys with me. Say hello to the camera, guys. Hi. These are all your YouTube fans. Can you tell them your name? Hi, I'm Zion. I am Melody. I'm Riley. Riley, you yeah. might have seen me in a few videos. Yeah. I love the food. Oh my God, this <laughs> is a chance to show me a few tricks. Grandma, I love All right. food. You what? You love food? I love food too. Food is delicious. All right, yes. So I wanted to come in and tell you guys how I'm feeling about things. So we're having a barbecue today. I'm not manning the grill. So that is awesome. I feel good about that. My son-in-law is manning the grill today. And um, so I was putting away some of the groceries that my mother-in-law brought in and she brought some cheese. Colby Jack. And then, yeah, okay. Are you recording? This is what? This is the TikTok dance that Cache did with us. I forgot the name of it. But all it does is uh What song does it do it to? I have no idea. Oh, okay. I don't remember. I don't know if I've seen it. I might have seen it. I have to see. I'm going to have to look at some TikTok videos and see. I can find out. Oh, the, the water is really going today. Look at this. Waves. Ooh, wow. It's a cloudy day. It's about 80 degrees. Man. You guys, we'll be out here in, not this coming week, but the next week. I will be out here for a week and we'll sit and listen to the water and enjoy our here at the lake. <laughs> so anyway, before I was so rudely interrupted, <laughs> say your name. Layla. Before I was so rudely interrupted, I was trying to tell you guys about this ding dang cheese. Y'all know y'all know I love cheese. I haven't had no cheese. I didn't like buy any cheese at my house because I knew for the month of July I'm not having cheese. So I I had put the cheese in the refrigerator and then I realized that um, I left some cheese here, um, which went bad, but there was some blue cheese crumbles that I left here last time. And I'm like, I really love cheese. Okay, so yes, I, I have a cheese problem. Cheese. I'm a cheese head. Are you a cheese head? Oh. Still eat the cheese. <laughs> hey, guys. Batman. Still eat cheese. I love cheese, you guys. So that is probably a struggle for me. Um, so far today, I've had uh, a half a pound of ground beef and two bacon, two and a half bacon strips. And I'm planning to eat some more ground beef patties as well as a New York strip steak for my uh, second well, meal. For me, I have. I probably could have eaten have more ground beef drunk. because I, I still feel in. hungry. Look. So I'll eat a big meal for dinner. Um, I think I'm gonna skip the hot dogs because I don't want all the spices and stuff that are in the hot dogs. I'm gonna okay. just try to do just only salt. What'd you say? I said okay because if they're gonna be spicy, I'm not gonna. Eat. I didn't even eat breakfast. So. You didn't eat breakfast? No, I didn't. Uh, Oh, okay. I don't think meat? the hot dogs are going to be fishing? spicy, but they have spices in them, like salt and some other kind of seasonings. I like salt. Yeah, but yesterday, something. Layla opened the wrong side of the salt and then poured Ooh. a bunch of salt on my face. Oh, wow. Did you eat it anyway? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you said it was very uh, salty and disgusting. I, I, I love it. I want really salty popcorn now. 
Oh, popcorn. I really yes. want sweet popcorn. I haven't had popcorn in over a year and a half. Salt. I really okay. want to no eat popcorn. kettle corn popcorn, but I can't eat popcorn anymore. I can't eat corn. Uh, no corn. You can't corn. eat corn? No. No, it's the carnivores. Because carnivores oh. don't eat corn. I really love corn. Yeah. You one channel where you get to eat a few I should do a channel where I get to eat a few fruits. I think there's a turtle right there. I see a little turtle head oh, sticking turtle. up. Turtle, turtle, turtle. turtle. These guys are so cute. Meats. Ready for some meats. She's steamy. Um, so everybody on my YouTube channel has been saying happy birthday to you. Oh, thank you so much. God bless yes, you. Yes, yes, yes. Everybody says, say happy birthday to your daughter. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. We are having the Wagyu brisket. Can you give us your rating? One to ten. One to ten, it's a certainly eleven. Oh, okay. Yes. Good. Absolutely wonderful. Wow. Awesome. Awesome. Outrageously, Outrageously, good. Good. Outrageously good. What about you? You're having the Wagyu brisket, and what is your rating? Phenomenal. Phenomenal. Outstanding. Okay. 12. 12. 12 out of 10. <laughs> Congratulations to the chef. They're all my family. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, that's kind of the board on Saturday. All the way before that. You like it? Yes, I love it. Thank you so much. Oh, what's what's oh, is that the part you drink off of? Uno. Oh. Hmm? Yeah. Uh, I may pay you as well. Yes, you get oh, I All right, you guys. So, just came out off of the boat. Uh, and I wanted to just pop in here and say that I forgot to bring my salt with me. Uh, so, I ended up eating my burger and steak with no salt at all. I'm not ready. I'm not ready to go away from all seasonings because it was, it just was not delicious. Very disappointing. So even though I'm on a two meal day, I haven't finished my second meal because I didn't have any salt and I didn't want to add the Umbrella Girl salt onto my food. So when I get home, I'll finish my steak and have some salt on it. Anyway, I think we're getting ready to have a boat ride. I'm gonna see if I can get one of the guys to take us out. And uh, I just wanted to come in here and tell you guys about that. It's been a great day so far. Even now. <laughs> it's so beautiful. You hold it up the umbrella. <laughs> 